Okay, great. This is actually going to be the second version of the 30 Assets Mnemonics video that I'd be making, where I'll slow down things for you to assimilate all the information. So we'll start with the saturated fatty acids. To memorize all of them at once, we're going to use this image. It's a dramatic movie scene where a young woman called Laura is separating with her boyfriend called Sheru. Laura takes Sheru's wrist, then puts her other hand's palm on his and stares at him contemplating for the last time his peanut curled hair. Laura is analoric acid, common abbreviation C12. You won't forget it because capital letter L of Laura is very similar to the number 12. Also, it's the only one you need to remember because the next ones you got them by just adding two carbons each time. Wrist gives us myristic acid C14, palm is for palmitic acid C16, stair for stearic C18, and peanut that is also called rashes is simply for arachidic acid C20. Now, when we move to the unsaturated fatty acids, we got that oleic and olenic root that repeats. Put in your mind that olenic comes from oleic, okay? Now, I need you to remember that our main actor is oleic acid, and he owns one unsaturation on his ninth carbon. Associate that one unsaturation to being the main actor. Number one, best of them all, things like this. So, oleic acid has 18 carbons and one unsaturation on the ninth carbon. Now, if you can't remember the 9, there's this trick. If you count the number of letters you got in the two words oleic plus acid, you'll find exactly 9, and that's it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So, moving to the next one, palmitholic acid. Sliced into two parts, it gives us palmitic, meaning we got 16 carbons, and oleic, meaning we got one unsaturation on the ninth carbon. That's how we get the common abbreviation C16, 1, delta 9. Now for the linoleic acid, I need you to picture in your mind the image of two linen seeds and associate that to the word lin. So when you hear the word linoleic, the two seeds come to your mind and that means for us we got two insaturations and since the second part is oleic, it means two things. Primo, that our first insaturation is going to be on the ninth carbon and secondo, that we have a total number of 18 carbons. That's how we get the common abbreviation C18 to delta 9, 12. As you see, the numero of the second insaturation is 12. Why? Because that's how things go according to the general structure of the fatty acid. And actually, you're asked to understand and not memorize it in order to actually better learn the other fatty acids. Now, let's attack the gamma linolenic and alpha linolenic at the same time. Here we got, as you see, three parts, the third one being alpha and gamma. These Greek letters are going to show us the numero of the first insaturation, and the fact that there are three parts means that we have three insaturations. If you look closely to gamma, it looks like the number 6, and alpha looks more like a 9. Now go back to your general acid structure. That makes the order 9, 12, 15 for alpha linolenic and 6, 9, 12 for gamma linolenic. But be careful, it's linolenic, not linoleic. It's very important. Just put in your mind that the root oleic is for those with two parts and olenic that looks more sophisticated is for the ones with three parts. Also since olenic and um, also since oleic olenic I mean is derivated from oleic, they, they both have 18 carbons. That gives us conventional abbreviation C18 3 delta 9 12 15 for alpha linolenic and C18 3 delta 6 9 12 for gamma linolenic. Directly using this last one and just adding two carbons, we get a C23 delta 8 11 14. So that the unsaturations order has changed. It's not anymore 6, 9, 12, but 8, 11, 14. The reason is the two carbons we added stuck from the side of the carboxylic acid. And that's why that's what makes that what uh, makes the numero of the first unsaturation move by two steps from 6 to 8. Now we have a C23 delta 8 11 14 and it's called diomogamma linolenic acid. You can also use the word diomo as meaning you have to add the number 2 twice to the gamma linolenic acids abbreviation, one to the total number of carbons and one for the numero of the first unsaturation. So as you get its conventional abbreviation. Moving on to the arachidonic acid. For this one, I associated it to my neighbor. His name looks like Rashid. He's the fifth, five, what is fifth? He's the fifth child of his parents and the father of four children. 
4 is for the number of unsaturations we got, 5 is for the first unsaturations numeral. And for the total number of carbons is 20, because arachidonic is close to the word arachidic, and we know that arachidic acid has 20 carbons. Or if you know the spelling of Arabic numerals, you can also use the fact that the number 20 is a shreen, somehow close to arachidonic. The two last fast, um, last fast, I'm making a lot of mistakes. The two last fatty acids are the easiest to remember. The first one, Eicosapentaenoic, divided gives us Greek number eco, meaning there are 20 carbons. Penta means there are five insaturations, and since the word penta is composed of five letters, the first insaturations in a row gonna be five. For the second one, docosa higza inuic, same thing. Docosa originally do plus eco means 22. Exa means that we have six insaturations and exa composed of four letters, so four letters match numero four. End of the road. So now that we're done, I'd like to show you how the construction goes on. So what I do in order to make these mnemonics is that in my first or second lecture of the thing I need to memorize, I try to make a link between the word I read and the first thing that comes into my mind, and then link all of it just like I did for the saturated fatty acids. At the time we took that fatty acids biochemistry class, I just had watched a movie where the main actor called Cheru lives in Australia. There's that scene where he's separating with his girlfriend, cause... He has to go back to India. She's desperate and asks him not to leave her. Actually, I took that scene and added the detail of the hands and changed the young lady's name into Laura. I guarded the image of Sheru's curly hair and associated it to peanuts because curly hair is somehow similar to a load of peanuts. When I read the word meristic, I thought of the word wrist. Palmithic made me think of palm, the palm of the hand. But for Rashidonic it was special, the numbers related to that man called Rashid matched perfectly the ones of the fatty acid. For the other fatty acids it was more like giving a meaning to the connections already existing between the words after reading them and writing them down many times and moving them till I found the right sequence. For the general structure there was no trick, I just ended up learning it through repetition. Well, I hope you found the video helpful, thank you for watching.